Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Single Number. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given a non empty array of integers nums, every element appears twice except for one. Find that single one. You must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space. Example one, we have the following input nums 2, 2, 1. The only element to appear once is one. Example two, four, one, two, one, two, one and two both appear twice, four appears just once. And example three, we have just one. So that is our output. And we have some constraints over here. Each element in the array appears twice, except for one element, which appears only once. So if we were to solve this and sort of ignore the requirements of having constant extra space, something we could do as we iterate through every single number in our input nums, just add it to a set. So if I had a set, the first number I come across is two. I see it's not in my set already, so I'll add that in. Once I come across my second two, I see that it's in here, so I'll remove it. Then I go to my one. I see it's not in here. I will add it in. And once I finish iterating through my entire input array nums, I will only have one number in here, and that would be the number appearing just once. But this will have linear runtime complexity and also order O of n for space complexity. We only want to use constant extra space. Whenever we come across these types of problems, we always want to look into binary operations. So say I have two bits, A and B, and I want to figure out what my AND and OR operations are, right? If I have one for A and zero for B, if I were to OR these together, I would get a one. If I were to AND them together, I would get a zero. And if I have one and one, both OR and AND would be one. There's zero, zero, both OR and AND are zero. If I have zero and one, the OR again is one, but AND is zero. Besides OR and AND, we have another binary operation available to us, the exclusive OR, XOR. Now, what does the XOR do? The XOR only outputs a one if the two digits are different, and it would output a zero if they're the same. So if we were to XOR A and B together, one and zero would be one. 1 and 1 would be 0, 0 and 0 would be 0, and 0 and 1 would be 1. So if we have the same digits again, if we have duplicates of these, we would get a 0. If not, we would get a 1. We can actually make use of this while finding out what single number we have. Say we have 2, 2, and 1. In binary, what would that look like? So in binary, we write 2 as 1, 0. Now we have two of those, so we have another 1, 0, and we have 1, 1, which is a 0, 1. Now, if we were to XOR all of the digits, what would we get? The 0 XORed with 0 gives us 0. And then that XORed with 1, so 0 XORed with 1, would give us 1. So we have 1 over here. And what about this column over here? We have 1 XORed with 1. That's going to be 0. And then 0 XORed with 0 is going to remain 0. So our final output would be 0, 1. And what we're left with is just the number one. So XORing cancels out all the duplicates and we'll be left with just our single number. So that's exactly what we're going to do for this problem. We're just going to loop through every single number and XOR it with our current running total. And in the end, return that total, which would equal just that single number that we have in our array. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. To code this up, I'm going to start off with my result being zero. And now I'm going to loop through for every single number in num. So for num in nums, I'm going to XOR our number with our current result is going to be result XORed with number. So result XORed with number. And all we have to do once we exit this for loop is return result. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example just to come full circle and see exactly how this is going to work line by line. In my input array nums was the following input array. We have three, one, two, two, and one. To start off with, we initialize the result to be zero. And now we're going to loop through for every single number in nums. So our first number is three. Now, if we were to XOR that with the result we currently have, let's see what that would look like in binary, right? We would have one one, that's going to be three, XORed with zero, zero. So XORing one and zero, we know any one zero XOR is going to be one because the values are different. So anytime they're different, we output a one. So this is going to be one, one as our output. So result right now is going to be one, one or three. Now we go back into this for loop, move and down. Now we get one. So we want to XOR one, one with just one. This XOR together will become one, zero because one and zero are different, but one and one are the same. So this becomes one for this column and zero for this digit. So our new result is going to be one, zero. Going back into this for loop, n is now two. So XORing one, zero with one, zero 
we get zero, zero. Both digits are the same, so our result is now just going to be zero. Going back into this for loop, our new number is now two. So XORing one, zero, and zero, zero, what is our output? That is going to be one, zero. So just the number two again. And the last iteration of this for loop, n is now one. So XORing one, zero with zero, one. So we're XORing two with one. What do we get? Both of these digits are different. So we're left with an output of one and one. So our final result is one, one, and we return that. And what is one, one in binary? That is three. And as we can see, only number three appeared once in our nums. One and two both appeared twice. So XORing all of our numbers together gives us the single number left in nums. So we just went ahead and solved a single number. Now this runtime complexity is linear because we go through every single element in our input nums once. And we only use constant extra space because all we're doing is keeping track of result. So we just went ahead and solved a single number. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.